Well, we wouldn't if there wasn't protein synthesis. It's the process that makes up polypeptides that make up proteins to build up into enzymes. Enzymes and proteins make us what we are. Biological machines, unlike your car. Millions of years of evolution has come to this biological conclusion. I'll start with transcription. Yeah, yeah. I'll start with transcription. Yeah, yeah. I'll start with transcription. Yeah, yeah. I'll start with transcription. When a cell needs to make specific polypeptides, transcription factors tell a special enzyme where to bind upstream from a gene template strand of DNA. This enzyme is called RNA polymerase. It binds to a site packed with adenine and thymine. It's not transcribed, but unwinding is more easy. Between these bases are only two hydrogen bonds, and for motor reason, bonds are not as strong. RNA polymerase unwinds the helix, and so the template strand is ready to be complemented into a single strand of mRNA. There's no thymine in it, but your cell takes its place. Polymerase then adds nucleotides in the direction of mRNA is 5 to 3 prime, just like DNA replication. It's the direction of all genetic creations. The DNA strand that is read is called the template. Its bases complement those bases in the RNA. A template strand of TACTG will code for AUGAC. But what about the other strand of DNA? It isn't read at the same time as the polymerase. Its coding strand and RNA are identical, except RNA contains the base uracil. Cytoplasm where it binds to a ribosome, tRNA binds amino acids to form a polypeptide. Gene to polypeptide. Transcription happens till a terminator sequence where there's RNA and DNA dissociation. The polymerase is then free to bind with another promoter that it can find. Before primary transcript leaves the nucleus, modified because outside of it, it would be destroyed by digestive enzymes. We wouldn't want that because the cell would probably die. The 5 prime cap 7 methylguanosine is added to the 5 prime end of our primary transcript. And then a poly A tail is added to the 3 prime end so it won't fail. There are parts of our molecule that do not code for a polypeptide. And so for a protein not to be dysfunctional, introns are cut out by sliceosomes. Cytoplasm where it binds to a ribosome, tRNA binds amino acids to form a polypeptide. Gene to polypeptide. Then out to the cytoplasm mRNA goes, where it meets up with the friend ribosome, 60 and 40 S subunits, then clamp on to the mRNA. Next up. Ribosome, there are two special sites. A is for acceptor, P is for peptide. Once the subunits have clamped on, mRNA reading frame is read in codon. Codon, a sequence of three nucleotides, AUG, the first codon recognized. This dark codon codes from a cyanine whose tRNA enters the P site. tRNA, single stranded nucleic acid, is shaped like a clover, and here's what happens amino acyl tRNA synthetase binds one amino acid to the tRNA. tRNA also has an anti codon, which complements the mRNA. RNA codon. If the codon transcribed was AUG, the anticodon would be UAC. Methionine tRNA is in the P site. A second tRNA enters the A site. The two amino acids then peptide bind to begin the formation of a polypeptide. The first transfer RNA leaves the ribosome, and the second one moves over for elongation to the A site. Another one comes along and it goes on and on and on and on. Until comes the end of translation, when the A site hits a stop codon. For these codons, no tRNA exists. Elongation is almost finished. A release factor protein dismantles the complex. The ribosome can bind to more mRNA next. Sugars or phosphates may be added at this time, and these polypeptides make up proteins and enzymes. Then to the cytoplasm where it binds to 
a ribosome. Here and it binds amino acids to form a polypeptide. Gene to polypeptide.